Hello, welcome to another Writerly Witterings. Cheers. My name's Michael Jex. I'm the author of about 44 books, but I spent two years working as a mentor with students at Exeter University, at which time I learned that a number of problems students were having were remarkably similar to problems that other students experienced. So I'm running this short series of videos to help students with their written communication. But it's not just students, it's just as relevant for business people, for people writing a letter of complaint, anything at all. It's how to structure and organise your thoughts and put them down so that you can write a coherent and easily understandable piece of text. This is the fourth in my series of videos and I'm going to talk about tools. I will just apologise, it should have gone up a bit earlier but unfortunately the exhaust pipe fell off my car and it's taken a bit of time to get things back to normal. Anyway, I've been asked by a number of people at different times what sort of software packages do I use for my writing and could I explain a bit more. The first thing that people asked out was Scrivener which is a fantastic piece of software I use all the time. Then I was also asked about how I use Nicest Writer Pro and what I think of that compared with other WP packages. But I thought I'd better start with the basics. And the most basic software that is most relevant for people who are writing is Scapple, I think. Scapple is a piece of software from Literature and Latte, which is basically um, some software designed to help you formulate a coherent series of steps in any sort of communication. Uh, it was actually designed as a project management tool I think by the owner of Literature and Latte but it doesn't matter it works for everything. So let's have a look at Scapel. Here it is. This is the blank page that you get when you first open a Scapel document and on this page if you double click your mouse it'll bring up a little box for you to type in. So here I've created one box just to give my page and this presentation a title, I'm going to call it Scapple. And you can see here there's an area saying New Note. That's every time you double tap on the screen it will come up and say New Note. And then as you type it will overwrite New Note with whatever it is you've got as an idea. So I'm going to throw a bunch of ideas here. Throw ideas at it. That was a clever title. Now each of these are just c simple discrete thoughts I had while thinking about trying to give a presentation on Scapple. It looks a mess but that's because it's just random ideas thrown at the screen. So let's make sense of them. First, by linking each idea it's possible to see where a flow might develop. You can put in arrows with one point or a point at each end, you can have dotted or solid lines, you have the flexibility to get as complex or to keep it all as simple as you want. Next you have to organise your ideas. Now the great thing about Scapel is you can move these notes around just by dragging and dropping. The relationships, the pointy arrows and everything, will move with that note. So you don't have to worry about it, it's all organised for you. You can also stack ideas in groups, you can box them, you can do anything really you want with them. But just looking at this, it looks still a bit of a mess. Um, so let's just make it look a little bit different. You can put cloud symbols around boxes, you can have jagged edges, you can have rounded corners on rectangles, anything you want. You can change the fonts and the colours, you can add shadows, you can have bordered colours, you can have background colours. It really is as flexible as you want it to be. Then of course you can have other notes and you can decide how you want them to be displayed. Perhaps you're working through a fairly lengthy essay and you have this series of points, well this flows to this, this flows to this, this flows to this, but then on the right hand side you also want to have, well where did I get the proof of that? Here's where the proof of this item is, there's where the proof of that one is, and you can work them all through like that. Other people may find it just as easy to use um, a matrix and use a spreadsheet. Personally I find this free flow idea is much much easier to in interpret and absorb. That was a very large fly. So here we are. If we then go on you can have different groupings 
and move them around again. So perhaps you want a separate grouping, perhaps another series of linked comments. Just add them in wherever you want, it doesn't matter. You aren't confined or restricted in any way whatsoever. Any ideas you have, add them as notes. If they're related to an existing series of notes, you can just add the links for them. If they're separate, you can make them stand out with new borders or infills. It's entirely up to you. But the delightful thing is, you can tie a whole series of thoughts together and start to plan out your essay, your dissertation, your thesis, anything, your piece of creative writing perhaps, just by throwing everything at the scaffold screen and then moving it around into the order you want. Now, of course, my requirements are considerably more basic. I'll start a story with a question such as this, a man's found dead, and then, well, okay, how did he die? Who was he? Why was he there? Was there a weapon there? Is the weapon still there? Uh, did he have enemies? Were there witnesses? All of these things, just throw them at the screen, and then I can start to rationalise them down and start organising um, the main plot that I'm working on. This is not an imaginary thing. I've just started writing a book. This is the basics. This is the foundation of what the story is going to be about. It's by putting my notes together, adding names, locations, motivations and everything else, that the stories start to develop. I've been using Scapple now for, I think, about six years since it first came out. I have used other um, mind map software as well. I've used pieces which work on tablets and phones, but I always come back to Scapple because I, I just find it much, much easier. It allows you to put ideas down randomly and then play with them, change the order, change the relative importance of each of the items, and plan your writing, get the basic flow organised. With Scapple you can plan essays in the way that I explained in my video analysing your essays. I believe Scapple is now available on Apple Mac and Windows. It's wonderfully powerful. It will allow you to export documents to either PDF or a number of other formats. For those of you who are using Scrivener or who want to use Scrivener, you can also export it straight into Scrivener so that each of the notes and points that you've got becomes a heading within each subunit of Scrivener. So, I think that's about it for today. One statement is, I'm not paid to make these videos, there is no uh, relationship between me and literature and latte, the people who make um, Scapple and Scrivener, but these are pieces of software that I've used extensively and I've found them very useful, robust, stable and safe to use. So I'm very happy to recommend them on that basis. If you've got any questions, put the questions in the comments down below. Uh, please like it, share it, subscribe, all those good things. And if you get into real problems, do please let me know. You're more, I'm more than content to speak to anybody who has issues with their writing. Um, but the other thing is, do get in touch with the Royal Literary Fund Fellowship member who will be in your university somewhere. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Best of luck with your writing. And I hope to see you soon. Take care. Cheers.